Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Monster Train. Let's do another run, random, and maybe we won't get carried quite so hard by our, by our first unit draft. Let's see, as I take a drink here. Okay, okay. Restoration Detonation as a heal is really good in an Awoken deck, and we do have the standard Awoken primary champion here. Hellhorned Exile means that we have a lot of imps as um, one-off units. It's actually not that bad because they'll die and then we'll have access to more heals as our deck shuffles. Hidden Passage, really good to make one big floor. Bramble Ash does incentivize taking the Spike Champion, which I, I think is probably my favorite because there's so many high damage dealing multi-strikers or Hasters with damage shield and just being able to kill them. Just being able to do damage to the back line with um, pack shards and everything is, is kind of nice. Summon abilities trigger an additional time. I see a bit of an imp build, but also the tank units in the Awoken do have summon abilities. I see Ashes of the Fallen being amazing here. Revenge, cultivate one, draw one each turn. Cultivate. As you heal, it buffs the damage and health of the friendly unit with the lowest health. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Right now that's train stewards. I mean, I, I understand the value from this, which is if you have a animus, you can give the animus plus one damage per heal. What is the, cause I don't think I've ever taken cultivation because it used to not do this. It used to just give you the draw. So what the heck does this champion actually do? <laughs> okay. Wow, it's actually a lot of health too. I guess it has to have a lot of HP because it's not really a very good um, damage dealer because it doesn't do rejuvenate or spikes. But I got to admit, I got to admit, doing cultivate three per heal Three damage per heal is pretty decent. I still feel like Spikes is better, and I feel like Explosive isn't that good. For the reasons that I that I just was talking about with Spikes. There's so many backline units that you gotta kill, and the Senji unit with Spikes is so good at killing the backline units, I feel like that's where it's at. But I will say, if you get like a quick sweeper, the cultivation can help to buff the damage of the quick sweeper, and you get more draw each turn as well. I'm gonna take cultivating. I I'm curious. I'm curious to see how it works. Screw the divine horde. I don't want to add that evil to my life. This is a no-brainer. What is it? Uh, 13, maybe 16 pyre damage if you do nothing. We're not gonna do nothing. Although unfortunately, I I can't really. Restoration detonation kill anyone, but I tell you what I can do Immediately we can start the cultivation process it doesn't buff its own damage unfortunately, but that's fine Yeah, um, I get it I um, <laughs> I um, I don't think I can kill you That does 20 damage. You know what, I totally can kill you, but it, it'll use both of my imps. What do I care? You're gonna do three damage to the pyre. Now you're dead, we get the gold. The pyre taking nine damage for a trial, it's not that bad. I, I mean, it could be better, it could be worse. I mean, honestly, if I ascend you, then you're dead. We need more heal cards though. Ah, there we go. Oh, it did buff your damage by one. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I mean, I understand the champion. You, you do want to have like a multi-striker or a sweeper behind getting the buffs. I don't think it's a particularly good champion, but I think if you can get to, to multi-strike three or something, it's actually pretty decent. So I'm just gonna raise you and then we will explode. Separating the two units is extremely helpful, and now you are all dead. Fantastic. 
So we have a, uh, we ended this with a 1619 train steward. You know, it, that's not that good. If you're the Umbra, if you're the Umbra, you, like, you can just gorge a train steward to a, a 2020 by the time the boss shows up. So a, a train steward being 1619, it's kind of a little bit like, well, who cares? It's good, but it is a little bit of who cares. So these summon effects will trigger twice. I actually do kind of like a Welder Helper. Welder Helper Transcend him can make your units literally invincible, which I think is kind of fun. And we do want an Awoken unit because a Multi-Striker is perfect. And we have Quick. So a Sweeper is perfect. We don't have either. Um, You can just put quick on someone. That's pretty good. God, I love this though. And th this is what I was thinking about with the dumb and su double summon effect. This unit's gonna have 135 max HP. They're only gonna have 15, but you can heal them that far. And that's a fantastic tank. Or you could just use him as a plus 15, plus 15 melder for someone, you know? I, I, I like the Awoken Hollow more than the, the other unit, but I don't like, I don't like it that much. So we'll reroll and see what we get. We have enough money, luckily, that we can do this. So, I mean, this is not what you want because now I'm thinking that that multi-striker would have actually been kind of nice, but, you know, we can uh, just make you extremely tanky. I mean, we've got great tanks. <laughs> tanks for nothing. I mean, I know that we have a tank, but I think two tanks is perfectly acceptable. That means we can we can build on two floors. You know, the lower floor could be a sweeper, and then the top floor could be a multi-strike, and then the top floor gets all of the heals so that the multi-strike gets a lot of damage. You know, we can we can build around that but just getting one super tank that has like 200 HP, is, it's really good. It's really good. And I, I love this as your opening move too, because it just gets a kill. Well, it gets two kills, really. And then, I mean, I think you just do that. These are not sweepers, they're um, spikers, which is like no problem. Granted, I don't really have too much capacity to actually play an imp. That being said, I can get a kill just by sending you out of the way and then murdering you. So I do kind of enjoy that idea. You know what I actually like? Ascending the train steward, putting an imp in the front, it'll get a kill and then it'll also kill the collector. And then as these m units move up, the queen's imp will be deceased, but we're not gonna get a lot of value out of the heals. You know, I don't care about energy next turn. Why don't we just, um... <sighs> What's coming up? <laughs> Welder Helper, Restoration Detonation. You do six damage. All right, I'm gonna send you. Did I, did I discard a card? What happened? It, the UI looked a little bit funky there. I'll play a Queen's Imp to die. It'll get the kill on the Collector. And then we're just gonna play a... Um, I think we're just gonna play a Restore. It's, it's Cultivate 2, right? Yeah. Cultivate 2 is not bad. Honestly, maybe Multi-Strike on the Hollow would have been pretty sick. It would have been a, you know, it would gain two damage every time it healed itself, and it's a tank. Seems interesting. You grant spikes. If I ascend you out of the way, you're not gonna do much. You 41? Now you're dead. <laughs> the, the imp is getting a kill and then dying. 
I mean, look, this is a very strange way of dealing with the situation, but like, things are dying as they move up. That's like, perfect. And you know what, honestly, if we do it like this, we get a kill on everything. So now nothing's making it up. You're taking 84 damage, which is uh, awesome. Now you're taking 125. That was one heal. Now you're taking 26 damage. Um, I think what we want to do here is probably just restore. I also really like the idea of a Welder Helper to give an extra 40 HP to the champion. So I think you Welder Helper to double its health, restore once, which will give uh, plus two damage to the Welder Helper itself. Although it's dying to the spikes anyways. Why is it living? I don't understand what happened there. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's not heal cultivation. It's revenge cultivation. Oh. You see, I always thought that it was a heal cultivation because that's what the hollow has. Rejuvenate cultivate too. I thought it was the same thing. It says revenge, not rejuvenate. It's another R word, but you know, Read, forehead. Okay, so every time the sentient takes damage, it gets a buff. So the sentient does need to be on the bottom floor, ideally. And then the big, you want big heals on the sentient, trickle heals on the Awoken Hollow, things that apply regen. Okay, I, I understand it now. Good to get that out of the way early. I mean, it's second combat, but still, good to get that out of the way early. So give me another restoration detonation. We want the, the heals. Honestly, I do think that a Molten Imp is pretty sick. Um, What's the unit essences? Dude, if that gets doubled, an endless molting imp would be awesome. So I do think that I like that. And then we have another opportunity to unit here. Armor 30 plus 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 in spikes quick. I still don't know if we want quick but I know we don't want another tank. Do we have a Melder coming up? We do. So we could put a Thorn Hollow inside of the Awoken Hollow, or we could put the Awoken Hollow inside of a Thorn Hollow. We don't really need them to be bigger, honestly. I think what we want, maybe we would be okay with an Animus of Speed. It does grant quick. And so if we get the ability to, yeah, it grants quick if you meld it. And then if we get another unit and it's a sweeper, we can put quick on it. All right, I'm, I'll take it. I do want to forge spells, but forging units is also pretty good. We have another divine temple coming up and another awoken unit coming up. So why don't we go to the merchant and the heal Although we could get a sick Hellhorn unit. We do want to upgrade spells. Magic power in particular is really good on restores and de detonations. Uh, so let's go there. I have convinced myself. Demon Fiend, plus 30, plus 30, and plus one. Multi-strike and fragile. I mean, you are just a multi-strike unit. You might be the perfect unit for like our champion or our Woken Hollow, either one. But the Demon Fiend. <laughs> we don't have a multi-striker, so it, it would really be you, and then I could always put one of you in one of you, but then you'll have Fragile, which is a bit of a of, a, of an ass, because if you get swept, you're just dead, or spiked, you're just dead. Plus 30, plus 30, and plus one capacity. God, that's so good if you put it inside of another unit, but what do you put it into? You gotta get like an another multi-striker or something at your next unit banner. But you already have units. I don't think quick is appropriate on you. Dude, give me the freaking demon fiend. I'll make it work. I'll find some way to make it work. All right, magic power and consume. 
Good restore target there. Let's make the restoration detonations a little bit cheaper. Maybe the hidden passages, because we're always gonna want to play the heals. We might not want to play a hidden passage, but now we can. And then we're just gonna do the same thing. I don't think hidden passages really need to be upgraded more than that. Purge a card, gain a card. Please get rid of a train steward. We have so many units in this deck. Rare Hellhorned, Rare Awoken. I mean, a healing card does a lot for us. I think that's where you want to go. And this is a pretty good healing card. It, it, well, it's not really a healing card, but it is spikes, which is useful. Spell Chain. Not really what we're looking for. Intrinsic as well, not really what we're looking for. Engage Pact. Do we want to put a unit in a unit? I still don't think we do. I know we have the Demon Fiend, but it's not what we're looking for. We're not really taking any advantage of the packs right now, but uh, we're, we don't have a, a end game build in sight yet. We still need a, just a little bit more. We Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more and then we're set. So Revenge Cultivate. We want you to take damage. and draw one more each turn, which is really nice. Yeah, okay. You do seven damage. Have fun with that. The train steward is going to get rich. <laughs> oh, although I'm a little bit dumb, we should probably try to like build one big middle floor or something. And you know, you know what? We ha we have hidden passages, so we should probably just do that now. Move you up. This is where you should really go. Although uh, maybe I should have played an imp. Although it would wouldn't have mattered. Actually, I kind of like this because it gives our, um... Oh, you got pushed! Okay, well, you know, the best plans of mice and men, right? I really do need you to get pushed. <laughs> you're gonna make it to the pyre, but you're not gonna do damage. You might make it to the pyre ever so slightly, but I'm not that worried about you. Um. I guess we just want to do like a a big ol' heavy consume. Gotta admit, I, I think we actually probably want to consume on, on you. And I think our, our hollow was gonna be the thing that kills the boss. Kind of expected that. <laughs> and, and a a hidden passage would be amazing. Get you behind, but you would just get knocked around again. This boss, I'm not gonna say it counters what we're doing. It's just an annoying boss. Let's be honest. So this is fine. We gotta we gotta work down these units. At this rate, I'm I'm pretty sure that some units are gonna make it up to the pyre, but I don't think there's much we can do about that. Could descend you and then start playing some imps. That's not that bad. You do a little bit more damage, but that doesn't really matter so much. You're doing none. You're gonna hit the pyre three times, we're gonna take six damage. I I, I don't see a way of dealing with that. Congratulations, you are you are annoying. Um Although we could stop two damage by playing the imps and the welder imps in the correct order. I actually feel like we'd be getting more value by trying to wipe you a little bit faster. Hope, hope we get a restoration detonation. You know, if we get a restoration detonation, you're dead anyway. So yeah, let's, um, let's just stop you if we can. Which means we need to queen's imp. And I guess we might as well buff an imp. 
So we'll play Welder Helper first. No, because we, we need an imp to hit once in order to kill the... Well, we're not going to kill the backline unit, but we can make it so that it, it dies in, in two shots from the pyre instead of three. Is this really worth saving two damage? Might not be. It's actually perfect, because I want that guy to die anyways. You're gonna do five damage to the pyre. You know, uh, oh, you know what? I can kill you. There you go. It is possible. He has done it. And you can just ascend to the back. I'm loving the ascend cards. I'm not really using it like I should, building our floors, but we kind of get, we're, we're, we got messed up because of this boss's ability to knock things around. I, I think we just have to accept that that is what happened. Deal five damage to enemy units. It's actually 10 damage. Whatever. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it like this. Fine, I'll do it myself. Revenge cultivate. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think there's literally no reason not to just do this. Sure, you're in the back, but like, what else are you gonna do? Nothing, right? Now, hey, you know what? It's not nothing. You do one damage per turn of being alive. And now you're soon going to be doing two damage, three damage, five damage. I mean, the Awoken Hollow is a better tank than our tank is, our, our champion. It's Rejuvenate 2 instead of Rejuvenate, or sorry, it's Cultivate 2 instead of Cultivate 1. And it's on heal as opposed to on damage so we can get the bonus kind of immediately. Channel Song, Alloy, Spike. I think... I mean, to make an imp that could just survive and, and hit more and act as a tank, it's really not that bad. It's not what we want, but if, if we're lucky enough to draw it early, we can buff one of our other units. Um, I really don't think we need armor because we're healing a lot and we have tanks. It replaces itself, so I do like it. And this is exactly the unit that we wanted, literally. We need an Animus, and then if we put the Demon Fiend in the Animus, we have an insane value tank. And I think we actually go capacity so that we can put an Animus behind the Hollow. Rejuvenate two trigger. The Sentient can have the Animus of Speed behind it or, behind it or something. Yeah, T to make sure we can put something behind the Hollow, I like it. Although admittedly, we will have access to Hidden Passages. We can just ascend units behind. Yeah, you know, now you got me thinking. <laughs> draw might be better. The Sentient gives us draw, but not on turn one. If we can get to these uh, hidden passages, then we can build our own floors. Give me the draw. But I love the units that we have now, and we are absolutely going to Divine Temple. And honestly, we're probably going to Divine Temple and then duplicate the Animus so that we get two... 30 by 30, 40 HP animuses that have two capacity, but they still cost one energy. And then we we haven't even upgraded them at all. So yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do here. Cause we got the perfect we got the perfect unit. We got the unit that I wanted. And train stewards have to go. So we're gonna meld. Demon Fiend into the Animus. It's now a 33 by 333. Non-upgraded. Spell Chain or Intrinsic? You see, and now you got me thinking about an Intrinsic Hidden Passage where we can immediately, we can immediately put our Champion, our Tank, and an Animus on the same floor because we're gonna get a champion and then another unit, and then we can just put another unit behind that unit and then another unit behind that unit when we get the other hidden passage. I absolutely think that this is the correct call. And then we duplicate our Animus. So we just gained 50 Pyre Shards in one event, but that's why we saved up so that we could, we could do that. 
And now we have Revenge Cultivate. Ideally, that's going to be our front unit, and we can guarantee that that happens, actually. This is perfect. It's going to be the tankiest damn floor you've ever seen, but it's going to be a good floor. Now, admittedly, we don't have any sweepers, but <laughs> we'll hopefully work on that. So I think we have enough HP that we can survive this. Um, we've got heals and also um, two tanks. Two tanks, no thanks. But again, kind of hate you. I did it to myself. Also, we do not have the ability to use Hidden Passage. Uh, effectively, anyways. Oh well. I guess we could, you know, ascend you here onto this floor, or we can ascend you to the top floor. I feel like I'm okay with that. Ascending you to the top floor, and then I'll, I'll have to get some spells to kill you and to buff my own units, but we'll work on that. Gives us opportunities to play imps on the first two floors. Yeah, okay, I like it. And honestly, I think what I'm gonna do is um, just spread you guys out a little bit. Right, it's not... You gotta take damage. I seem to forget about that frequently. Okay, so then... I mean, I still like it. I actually feel like... Maybe we should... Uh, we should definitely play you. There's not enough capacity to play you all. We need more hidden passages. <laughs> like, I need ten of them. Because I really want to put... Awoken Hollow up here, then an Animus of Will up here, and then I guess we could put another Animus of Speed up here if we really wanted to. I guess I could Hidden Passage you and then the Pyre will kill you, but what's the point? Um, I could start you off... No, I can't start you off down here. I could put you down here, you here, and ascend you so that you're behind a tank, and that will probably kill you. I do like that. There you go. So you're dead, you're dead. Heals will, will shuffle through the deck. I think energy is actually like the most important thing for us. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, three energy. We're not able to play enough. I mean, I'd play a Molting Imp here if I could. <laughs> I think you just go with the Queen's Imp. Just get it out. Yeah, energy to play our Imps would be nice. The, the Relic that makes units cheaper would also be fantastic because we're having a hard time playing everything. Okay, 4523 Animus. Will you live? No. Am I okay with that? Probably. Problem is a Queen Zim doesn't do enough on its own. Also, our champion hasn't done a damn thing. <laughs> but they got more health than the Awoken Hollow, admittedly. But also, you're gonna die from this. And there's taken uh, only 57 damage. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I think what we do is we ascend you, and then we just play an imp. We, we keep drawing the imps in the wrong situations when we can't play them. So I do like that. And I guess you're just gonna get buff. Oh my lord. Well, you know what? I love that. You know, uh, well, molting imp would have also been pretty sick. Now we just need to buff you. Spells being upgraded would be nice so we can get restoration detonations. You know what? I hate to, <laughs> to, hate to do this to you, Imp. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna, gonna let you go, though. I mean, this is the exact floor that we're looking for, right? Anything that does trickle heal we want on the big guy. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> Got a lot of gold from that, too. Focus Growth, the exact type of card we're looking for, and this pretty much cements, I think, that we need energy. Speaking of energy, that's how we can get energy. Play the Imp, gain an energy, draw a card, pays for itself, hold over, great card. 
We always have imps to, to play. What are you? Choose a divine artifact. This is just purely beneficial, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess we could just get 25 gold if we don't think that we need cheap units. But I'll be honest with you, cheap imps for one combat seems pretty good. <laughs> that's that's kind of how I, I want to take that, is just cheap imps. Uh, so we, we want to upgrade our units. Our, our units need upgrades. That We have none. Well, the Awoken Hollow is upgrades, but our animuses could use it. I don't know if we want a large stone. So this is um, kind of the ideal imp. It deals 10 damage to all enemy units every time it comes out. Upgrade unit with plus 10. I don't know if that's enough. I mean, more HP is always nice. Um, it does help him to survive against spikes and, and whatnot. Sure, you know. I'll give you the HP, why not? I think we will purge a card, though. Purge another train steward, our last train steward. Please click on the button. <clears throat> there's more for us here, right? Yeah, there's an artifact. I don't know what else we need in the deck. Like, Bramble Ash is useless. Cycle of Life we haven't even played because it needs to be upgraded. We we desperately need spell upgrades, so we'll, <laughs> hey, spell upgrades. So we'll do that next, I think. We can purge more cards, gain another artifact. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go here next to get spells. The the imp is fine. I would luck I would like to duplicate him and then meld him later, but we can always do that right here at the end, because there is a divine temple right before the final fight. And then we'll have an imp that does like 30 damage to all enemy units every turn. If we're doing spells next, I kind of don't want to spend anything. Now, I, I I admit that quick is kind of nice on the animuses. But, like, I guess the problem is there's too many enemy units in, like, the last divinity fight and everything. Y you can't kill the backliners with quickness. So, you know, I want Glimmer. I want the Molting Imp to kill all of the weak enemy units. Having quick on the animus doesn't really matter that much. We have tanks. We have two tanks. Too many tanks. You know, we want them to get a hit. We want them to be able to heal, and we have spells that can heal us, so we want to upgrade those spells. See, so yeah, I think we just, um... I think we just go. I just want to make the units stronger, not necessarily faster. Spell shield! We do have restoration detonation in the deck, but we also have got great units, so we don't need the spells to, to do this. Yeah, it's a bit risky, but... I think we can make it work. Hidden Passage, Sentient, Animus of Will. Okay, so we're gonna set up on the top floor. That way it purges the stealth from these guys. They're highly annoying. So, Sentient, we're gonna get Ember Drain. Our units are cheaper, let's not worry about it. And then honestly, Mama, Really no reason to play this or not to play it. Hidden Passage, is, unfortunately, is kind of useless, but that's okay. And you probably, yeah, you probably have a Harvest. So you're getting a little strong. Oh, well. You know what? I could keep you alive for a lot longer. Or we could um, Welder Helper the Animus and keep the Animus alive for a lot longer. That way it doesn't get swept or, or something. Kind of like that. I'll need something else here to kill the collector, but we can we can do that. I mean, we could just ascend you and then you'll you'll totally die. Okay, so yeah, let's let's animus. 
and then let's give you just a little bit of armor to keep you alive, and then, well, I played this wrong, but I'm still gonna do that. <laughs> it's it's fine. <laughs> Nothing's taken damage yet, and we're killing the enemy units. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, a molting imp has to go out. I mean, this is exactly the reason why we wanted the imp in the first place. We do need to kind of clear out some space. Unfortunately, we can't play any of our units. You know what? It is what it is. I think we just gotta let them simmer. I hate to do it. I don't even know how I'm gonna kill you. 43 times three? I mean, we do deal enough damage. Let's get that going. It's still a good unit, you know? There's nothing wrong with that unit. So you're only taking up to 23 damage. That's not as much as I was hoping for. Uh, Got to admit, a little saddened by that. You're gonna hit the pyre like... You're probably gonna hit the pyre for like up to 30 damage. And I'm just, I'm just gonna have to accept that. I'm just gonna have to accept that that's gonna suck for us a little bit. And that's okay. Can't really do anything about it. We don't really have that many spells. You only hit it four times. We don't really have that many spells that can actually hit backline targets. You're still not dead. You know what, we can do this. Not getting both animuses out, I think, was what screwed us there. So we have to we have to get the both we have to get both the animuses out. That's that's clear. That's clearly clear. Really wish that you weren't there in the front. But whatever, <laughs> it is what it is. Six times six. You're taking 57 damage, which is not that bad. Spell shield keeps you guys alive, but I tell you what I'm gonna do. Do you think I can flee for two turns and then get my Awoken Hollow up behind my other units? Otherwise, it's ascend them and split them up, which I think might actually be a little bit better. Also, we're gonna get a ton of Cultivate triggers off of our champion. And we can ascend them both. Look at that. Would you look at that? Actually, you know what? That'll do it. And you, you know, I don't want you to come back next turn. Why don't I just do this? I'll sack you so I can get another another card. Spell shield. But that's okay. I guess we do have a quick unit. And you're dead. Granted, you are killing our sentient. Some of our units are getting strong, including the Molting Imp. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should uh, purge you so that our good units get stronger. And you know what? Give me a um, plus 10 HP and Spikes 3. And then give me one Restoration, okay. So, I mean, that, could, that fight could have gone better. We did let, let one unit through. We just gotta make sure our animuses get out a little bit faster. Maybe even duplicating animuses, maybe even duplicating the uh, ascends, so we can ascend more units. Probably not the intrinsic one, I think that was a mistake. But this one, definitely. Because the intrinsic one, we would have to get three units on the first turn to make use of it. And I'm realizing that's a bit of a problem. I, I think we can use Awake as a big heal, but we do have to make it cheaper. Summon gain four energy. Move a unit to the front and apply armor 10. Energy is not a big problem, but that is eight energy. Minus four, huh? Well, we're not gonna get any other units, although it is funny to think about like a demon fiend or crucible collector or whatever, or a collector of crowns as a... He's still a six energy base unit, isn't he? <laughs> Because he gets minus three per imp, right? 
I don't think we need any of these. We're gonna take energy from our next boss, assuming we live, so I don't think we need to get an energy imp. We desperately need to remove more cards and upgrade our spells, so let's go here. Uh, the imps, they're good, but they're not amazing. I actually think Bramble Lash is horrible. Even with Cycle of Life, it's really not that much extra damage. And I'd much rather use like a Restoration Detonation. So I'll cut an Imp as well. When played your champion gets plus 50% max HP. Descend or Ascend uh, applies days two. These are both fantastic. But our champion, I mean, they could have like 200 HP which is phenomenal, but the daze is also wonderful, but I think you gotta go for the health on this one. Spell chain intrinsic. That's not what I'm looking for. Although a spell chain important work is a lot of extra draw, but I don't think it's worth this, the points. Holdover. I think holdover is very good. I think it's good on a hidden passage. Because we always want to change our unit positions, I'm realizing. That's like incredibly important. Having this on holdover means as soon as we get it, we can put our units down wherever we want them. We don't have a problem drawing heals. So I think this is what you want because we only have two of these in the deck and one of them I, I kind of stupidly made something that happens on turn one. Turns out that wasn't smart. Remove consume. Don't care. And we, we want the restores to consume because now they're good. Um, could make fro focus growth just literally free. It's not a bad one. Yeah, and then we've got more stuff that we can do here. I gotta make sure that we have enough time to get to 100 pack shards. I'd like to try to do the... Um, you know, the freaking last divinity, even if it will get us killed. It's fun to try. Uh, I don't think we need to upgrade anything here, though. Worst case scenario, we can get the money. Choose a unit to sacrifice. Plus 15, plus 15, plus one, rejuvenate, cultivate two. We could put that on, like, the animus. I don't think it's that important. You know what, I do want to make a superb Exploding Molting Imp eventually, so we'll probably save that. Yeah, yeah, we'll save the Imp. We'll duplicate the Imp and then put an Imp in an Imp, and then it'll do... 40 damage to all enemy units in four distinct damaging bursts, which, which means that damage shield won't protect it. I mean, this is like the perfect floor clearer. So, yeah, we'll, we'll save that. And we'll, we'll have to do it here. Hellvent, duplication, spell upgrades, heal 20 pyre health. That's perfectly fine because our units are pretty much upgraded. We could even bypass the right side here. Free artifact and unit upgrades next. Just to put some more on our animuses. And I like that. Okay. And that'll give us another 25 packed shards. That'll get us to 75. And then we can take this, that'll get us to 85, and then take one of the spell upgrades, that'll get us to exactly 100. And if we have to take two spell upgrades, we can. So let's stay on 50 pack shards. I think that gives us the, the best bang for our buck late in the run. And uh, let's see what happens, see what we draw, because that's kind of very much d decides what we do here. I mean, I gotta admit, I, I kinda like this turn, because we have two tanks in front of our animuses if we do this correctly. I don't think we wanna split these guys up, though. I think we wanna let them let them stay where they, where they are. Yeah, the um, Hidden Passage, I think, was a bit of a mistake on the intrinsic, because we just, we, we don't need it. We, we just straight up don't need it. This is what we want, though. So you, 58, 58, three capacity. I have an imp that I can tank with. 16, 19, you'll live. So we'll, we'll play this animus. 
We also have our good imp too. We'll play this animus and ascend it. We'll play this animus and ascend it next turn. Ah, but if I do that, I won't be able to play the imp. The imp is worth playing over the animus, I think, just because it is so important. Also, our champion is 120 maximum health, but this imp is just incredible. All of the, the small, weak units will die without me having to deal with them. It costs one energy every turn, but I'm hoping that uh, another ideal holdover would be the um, important work card so that we can play it and the imp every turn. Well, the imp would be played twice, I suppose, every turn, but that's still fine. So yeah, you just play it, does 10 damage, you love it. You might as well just do that. And then do you Hidden Passage? No, we can we can wait. Because we gotta, energy was our big problem playing the, um, the Animus. So we just have to wait for the energy to come back around. This is too expensive. You don't have an encant. Oh, we got an imp. It's a free imp, too. <laughs> the imps is living. <laughs> Taking damage. I mean, we can we can heal you later. I mean, we can heal you now, I guess. Probably heal you. We don't really need two tanks, but I do like the second tank because it just it just protects our units so much. It's got 200 HP. Nothing's getting through. Okay, this is a little scary. Um, 57 times 3, 17. I actually don't really deal enough damage to take these guys out, unfortunately. So I'm a little worried. But I'm hoping we'll be able to deal with it. I mean, Animus and Ascend would deal with it. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> well, we got a, a different Animus. Oh, no, we got the other Animus. Oh, thank God. Now you're dead. We we need the two Animuses on the same floor. That's, that's clear. You go out. You heal. We also need plus 10 magic power or piercing on those um, restoration detonations. They're good cards, but... They need to be a little bit better. And now we've got more heal cards coming. Uh, you don't even want a hidden passage. There's one more animus, but it's not the important one. Well, I mean, I suppose you do this, and then this, and then this, and then, I don't even think you need the Molting Imp anymore. You're a 13 times three? <laughs> Wait a minute, you do 39 damage? You do more damage than Seraph? Pardon me? I gotta pay attention more. We'll at least send you up. And then ice you, heal everyone. A glimmer with 10 magic power and holdover would be kind of nice. Not, not necessary though. Now this is what I'm, I'm worried about, is that we're not really kicking the crap out of Fell here. We're, we're just kind of barely squeaking by. The Sentient and the Hollow don't aren't our damage dealers, but still, it does make me a little worried. And for a boss like this, you know, the revenge triggers on the champion don't really matter that much. It's just revenge plus two. Cycle of life. Spreading spores. Regen two and spikes two. Add a copy of this card to your discard pile. It's a good card. Um, I mean, if we make it free, we'll probably play it every time it shows up. We'll probably play it every time it shows up on the Awoken Hollow. I, I do actually think it's worth it. And we have to get energy here. It's just so important right now. And so we're gonna get spell upgrades. 
So we probably want unit upgrades. Consume have a 50% chance to be discarded. It's actually really nice with the Seraph we're about to fight. We don't really have consumed cards, so it doesn't protect us that much except on that fight, but it does mean that our good restores will stick around. I don't think it's particularly amazing though, but we don't also we also don't really do spikes, so I'll take wing clippings to help for the Seraphite. Large stone. I, I think we want this. I think we really do. Our units are going to be extremely large, but we'll just send them. It's 25 HP. I don't really think the Animus of Speed is any good, but I will... I will still spend to upgrade, because why not? And uh, Endless we don't need. 10 damage, sure. This is the last unit upgrades we're ever gonna get, so I don't mind spending. We're gonna save the rest of our money, though. 160 HP, which is actually 240, thanks to Mark of the Exile. That's a lot of health on a tank. Now, Spikes 10 is also pretty good, but with our Imp, we can kill the weak units, so I think we're okay with just the raw HP. Do we want the money? I actually think that we do, because I know what we're going to be spending our our cash on on the later floors. Although I will admit, we could keep our imp how it is, and then double up on another animus, another large stone animus. So we'll have three of them. This will give us 15 packed shards. I really do want, I mean, if I make this holdover, we actually can play the Molten Imp twice per turn. Okay, so I'll, I'll take the gold. Because if I double up on the Animus, it gets us to 75, and then with the two spell upgrades, it gets us exactly to 100. Armor 20, I, I really don't think that matters at all. Uh, th there's no, well, there are some small units here. Mostly it's just big guys and Ember Drain, and we'll just, we'll have to deal with it. Armor doesn't prevent us from getting Ember Drained. It doesn't make us get any more Ember Drained. It's just annoying. <laughs> it's annoying either way. So you gotta be played. You gotta be played. You gotta raise up. Now that Intrinsic card is a little bit more important. Important work and regens are kind of useless. Uh, you know, I, I do think that we kill the collector here. It means that we can't raise our hollow on this turn. I think that's fine. I, I think we want to make sure the collector dies for the H for the, the cash rather. And then as for you, you get a big heal. You get a big heal. You get a big heal. The Ember Drain is going to crush us in, in the future, but at least for now we can take advantage of it. It's Animus of Speed. You'll die if I play you. You'll die if I play you. Fantastic. Well, I could put an imp in front of you, or actually behind you, so... You'll ascend. You'll get played. You will get the armor, though. And then... Wow, you're actually dying still. That's kind of crazy. Channel Song can make a free unit. If it hits... Man, if it would hit... The Rage Imp. That would be so awesome. We're already going to have zero energy. See, well, no, we're going to have one energy. So, you know what? Don't even play the Imp. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I made that decision because now we have a Molting Imp. <laughs> Can't kill these guys, though. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we have enough HP on our champ. I don't think it's it matters too much. You gotta be ascended. We're gonna have energy next turn. I do feel like, you know I don't feel like you play the Molting Imp. He's not gonna kill the units due to the armor, but we do enough damage it shouldn't matter. Let's just play the, um, play the Restoration Detonation. These units don't deal that much damage except for the big ones in the back, and we can mess up their order with um, Hidden Passages. 
Like here, for instance. We can just hidden passage you up and then you're not doing anything. You're making it through? Pardon? That's annoying. <laughs> if I ascend you 250 damage, the pyre would take six shots to kill you. That's 18 damage. All right. Um, well, you take the heal. Well, um, you can take the heal. Got to admit, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that you guys have so much HP and that with two giant large stone animuses with multi-strike, you're still not dying. But I guess that's on me. Uh, well, you know what? This will this will do a ton of damage. They're taking 138. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm much happier with that now. You gotta die. I think you have to be ascended because you're just a tank that doesn't matter. I do think that you toss out a restore, and I do think you toss out another imp just to die. We have nine cards next turn. How do we have so much draw? You dying, or you not dying, I should say, does not matter. We might as well, we can't even play the animus, okay. Honestly, it's, it's fine, it's not that bad. Means we literally can't play anything else. Actually, we could hold on to a hidden passage. We already got our two animuses out. Yeah, a third animus would help a lot. I don't know if it's gonna be enough against the the waves. The waves. But it would help. It would help. I think we can kill both of you. Let's um I actually think that we want Hidden Passage next turn. I want to split enemies away from the boss, so let's save the card. How come you took no damage? Or how come the pirate took no damage? Oh, because it was just the tank that made it up, that's right. So there is no enemy behind the boss. Lovely. Let's, um, let's play some cards, shall we? So we definitely don't want Hidden Passage anymore. Still, you know, a little worried. Okay, we have absolutely no energy, but we do have Focus Growth, which gives, which gives us another turn. The boss is dying. We're only taking 90 damage? That's, that's staggering to me. I, I would not have expected that. I am, I am kind of blown away that we're only taking 90 damage. How did that Animus get 100 damage? What? Did it, did it really get buffed that much from revenge triggers? I don't know, it feels weird. We don't need restore health. Um, Although if we double a unit and merge a unit, that's exactly 100 pack shards. There's nothing really, well, you know, putting you into an Awoken Hollow isn't that bad, is it? Five health to friendly units means that it'll also buff every turn and also heal everything every turn. It's not that important though. That's plus two plus two on one unit every turn of combat and we have spells that are gonna be upgraded that also do a lot of healing. I don't think we need you to heal. Restoring Retreat is interesting because then we can build the big floor in the middle, which because of the multi-strike on... Because of the multi-strike on the Divinity, that might be appropriate. But then I think, okay, Edge Prior. Plus five HP per turn. It does mostly counteract the sweep on the top floor. And then we can keep ascending units from the second floor to the top floor, and then the first two floors can be for our imps. So we can, we can either build on the middle floor and then descend units down, but we don't have a holdover. 
or take an edge prior and then maybe put it on the top floor so we can either get free healing spells. I mean, cheaper healing spells is also really good <laughs> now that I think about it. I think we should take the edge prior. I, I don't think it's that bad. It will suck up a lot of our resolve triggers, so we might want to meld that into another unit. But let, let's 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 take it and try it. I also think that if we can get a hold over on Inferno, it might actually be worth it. It might even just be worth it to have it. That's such a good card. Now we are going to go to the left. We have 780 gold. What? I'll probably spend 60 on a reroll, but let's let's take a look at this. Permafrost is not what we want. Magic power and consume. Upgrade the restore, cost minus one, put that on Inferno. Dude, I important work is a good holdover. How can you not take a two energy Inferno with holdover? That's such a good card. And then we'll make Spreading Spores one. It's as good as we can get it. Glimmer's a good heal. Restoration detonation is is good damage though, but I think we'll take um, we'll take a glimmer for a good heal. Kind of wish that we could spend more money on upgrades. You know what we can? Upgrade a spell to cost negative two. Should have put that on the inferno. Should have looked here first. That was a bit of a mistake. It's like alt F4 worthy. <laughs> um, can I do that? I, I've never I've never tried this before. Back to main menu. Yeah, let me let me continue my run, my run. Resume. Can I can I do it again? No, I can't. <laughs> it's saved. <laughs> I would have totally cheesed that because yeah, this would have been uh, a much better value. We could still make spreading spores free. Or we can make cycle of life one. Hold on. We, we also are going to duplicate the animus and we'll duplicate the the large stone one because it has some has so much more health that gets us to 75 so we can either purge a card and upgrade a card or we can meld I think we do want to meld you into you it's such a minor thing though We gotta get to 100 pack shards though, but. <laughs> it might be worth more just to get spreading spores free. Because I should have done this, but didn't. You know, I'm gonna. Well, it being one is not that bad. Maybe we're okay with that and then Cycle of Life. Or even Awake is a big time heal. We don't have, we can just play that unit just to kill it. We don't have to keep it in the deck. We could actually just purge it as well. Um, yeah, give me uh Man, I really wish I could get more spell upgrades. I, I think I, I took wrong spell upgrades, let's just say that. Faulty Loader is honestly kind of okay. But the, the first wave of units is usually not that bad. I don't think we need to de deal with spikes. So yeah, give me a... Uh, give me a cycle of life. Spikes do help. And then we'll purge a card, and the card that we'll purge is... Honestly, give me a, a Purge of Channel Song. Well, nah. You can purge one of the restores out of the deck. Sure. You know what? Purge one of them. We're at 100 pack shards exactly. Let's, let's go. Okay, so we should have made Inferno cost one instead of two. That would have been a really nice because we're going to play it every turn anyways. We'll only have two energy per turn of combat instead of one energy. Or instead of three energy, rather. 
Whatever, it is what it is. We'll 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 deal with it. I actually really like this turn. We do lose one energy next turn, but we have very, very good spells. Now you are very annoying, but if we do get our Inferno card, we can just kill you every turn. Or our Imp for that matter, that'll kill you every turn. Well, not you, oh my god, you have Strike Sap. That's an annoying unit, Sap 5 on Strike. Luckily we got a tank. We need you to be ascended. So I don't think we play anything else, but we will we'll play this. And then we will also play this. Fantastic. Well, I mean, we could just play it. Do 20 damage. We kind of have to deal some more damage here because of the fact that uh, I should have done the math. Our units on the top floor need a little bit of help. The, the, the enemy are, is making it up. That's a little unfortunate. 98 HP. You're the one who can actually live. I, I had the wrong Animus out, I think. Okay, Cycle of Life Consuming is honestly not that bad. It'll actually get a kill. It's not gonna kill this guy, but that's fine. I think we consume this, then we can ascend you, then we can put you out there. You're, you're doing enough damage that I'm happy. Our Pyre is going to take some damage. Once we ascend this Animus on the next turn, the enemy is not going to make it up anymore. And we have an Inferno, which I think you just start with down here. Ah, but you don't want it to consume. I'm actually okay consuming the Hidden Passage, because we already lost the other Animus. The only units left are an Animus of Speed, and that's it. So you know what? Sure. Consume that card, hold over the Inferno. We're gonna get a lot of self-mutilations in the deck, but we can, we can heal later. Let's heal later. So I'm trying to do the best with what I got, and I definitely misplayed with the, um, <laughs> with the, with the spells, but we're okay, hopefully. So you need the trickle heal. Ye we'll play the glimmer. Boss is stealthed for one more turn. We'll deal with it. How much damage do we do? 300? As much as I want to deal with the purifier, I think we got to Inferno that middle floor. Dude, that Inferno was a great get. I only wish that I got the right upgrade on it. We can consume Spreading Spores, I don't mind. Pyre's gonna take some damage, it's fine. We do need to probably at some point spend more time healing, but we'll work on it. You know, if we're playing Inferno, we probably don't need the Molting Imp. How much damage are we doing now? Why are you 75 times three? I feel like this Animus is gaining attack, and I don't know how. How are you gaining more attack? I guess it was just hurt the most, so it's gaining, it's gaining the attack from the Cultivation and from the Awoken Hollow together. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so that's why you're gaining plus eight. Because you're gaining three, three, and two. Okay, so right now you're doing 75 times 3, plus 51 times 3, 120, 125 times 3. So we're doing 375 damage. Is that enough to kill these units? It might be, because I really do want to stop the inclusion of these self-mutilations. And if a unit makes it up to the pyre on the next floor, I'm really not that distressed. So I think I will not play Inferno. <laughs> We'll play a Restoration Detonation. We'll play a Focused Growth. We'll play a, um, I mean, we could play a Queen's Imp. We could play an Animus. Maybe even be able to ascend it, but it'll steal the, the buffs 
from the cultivation, so we, we probably don't want that. So yeah, we'll play a Queen's in. Inferno down here. We're already on final wave, holy crap. And you're all dead, which is fantastic. So, Glimmer is a, is a nice card to save, because it heals everything. I think we'll Restoration Detonation a couple of times. Play the the big ol' restore, and then we if we do want to play Inferno, so we'll probably um, probably Glimmer, Inferno. We can play Inferno first on this next turn, and then play our big heals on our champion. I, I think we're gonna kill Seraph. It's gonna be a sloppy, but I think we can do it. So I don't mind this consuming. Well, <laughs> it's fine. You I do want to have regen too, so you give us more buffs. 153 on our champion. What I would give for one of those cards, it gives us a full heal. You're dying, which is kind of amazing and absurd. But I guess that's what you get when you have 250 HP, 116 HP, 198 HP, and 139 HP. We just have so much health on our units. Also, now the champion is buffing themselves. I didn't think about that. If the enemy was doing like 1x 100 damage, we would just get infinitely strong and never die. So this champion has like sustain built in on top of the sustain from having maximum health. That's kind of funny. Okay, so we should, we, we gotta play this correctly here. That Inferno card is, is incredible, we need it, even if it's too energy. Okay, I mean, I, I, we know what we're doing. I don't think we wanna play on the top floor. I think we wanna play on this floor with the multi-strike though. So we're gonna, we're gonna ascend immediately. On the bright side, this means that we will have uh, more energy because we will, we won't get ener energy drained on this turn so we do want to ascend oh no by the way we did at least get the molting imp I in the end I don't think that imp is gonna be that important once we get uh, the inferno but it's good to have options you know we have two ways to clear a floor not just one okay that's not gonna clear the floor but you know you get the idea Um, yeah, you know, kind of, kind of need an ascend here. We have three animuses of will in our hand. If only they would be a little bit more spread out. Um, well, that's awkward. <sighs> like really, 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 really awkward. This is why the, the Molting Imp doing more damage is honestly fantastic, but if we get the Inferno, we can kill them as they move up. Like, look at this, though. We're not even doing anything. We've got to get these Animuses out. I'll be honest with you. I think we put an Animus on the top floor just to kind of wipe them. I think we're okay losing one. But you, you do need to go out. You're going to take a buttload of damage. You'll live. Suck it up. This is gonna cost us energy, but I, I think we need 150 damage next turn to, it's not even gonna wipe all of them, which is the, the crappy part of this, but. And in fact, the Animus won't even live because they're gonna take 18 damage plus another 15. So they're gonna take, they're gonna take 31 damage, I think. Nine, nine, 18. But if we encant, well, she'll take more. But 15, I mean 15 and 18 is 31. No, it's not, it's 33. I don't know why I thought it was 31. So you will die, literally, exactly, on lethal, and we'll just lose energy next turn. So I think we gotta accept that these guys are gonna hit the pyre. So let's work on these enemies. One of them's dying, fantastic. Molting Imp, it costs us draw, but it does weaken them and means that maybe we can kill more of them. So I am gonna play it. 
We have we have the energy to play a lot of things. Okay, they're also getting armor. <laughs> no, they're healing. Okay, so it turns out maybe that's not the best idea in the world. I think we end turn. You know, we could have played the armor imp to keep our animus alive on the top floor, but I think this is okay. Dude, I gotta admit, um, would be really freaking nice if we could actually get our Ascend card. I think not getting this or Inferno is just gonna kill us at this point. I, I We just don't have enough damage to, to kill everything. Maybe we should have started on the top floor. Would have given us an extra turn even though we would take nine damage per turn. Because we are, like, I don't know how to survive this right now. That's gotta happen. Animus is still dying. Animus is now living with one, which I think is as good as it's gonna get right now. You have Spell Shield, which is just freaking horrible, by the way. Um, so, why don't we just buff you a little bit and then give you a big heal and then, I mean, I, I just hope that we can get Inferno at this point because we gotta ice the top floor. If we don't ice the top floor, we will probably lose on this next turn. I mean, you're doing 75 damage and you're doing 70. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But we did get it, so we'll be okay. And then hopefully if we can start ascending our freaking Animus, we can actually get to the point where, um... Although we're not taking much damage here, we can probably get around this. We can get to the point where we're killing these guys, but we, we've got to play our Inferno on them next turn in order to kill them too. It, it's getting real rough, okay? It's getting real freaking rough. Ruff. Okay, if we play the Queen's Imp in important work, we can draw a card. Please draw the Hidden Passage. <laughs> we had to draw it. Oh my god, we had to draw it. Now, this the floor is not going to completely disintegrate. Holy crap, you've got to be played. We can at least keep icing the top floor as it moves up. Thank god for that. Heal up. Heal up. We've got heals coming. Molting Imp doesn't need to exist because of that Inferno, which is way better. Maybe I should have just made an, a Molting Imp that had a Molting Imp in it, because it would have been able to deal with these floors. You have to go. You have 200 HP. You would do 55 damage to the pirate at least. You would do another 22. You're not even going to die from this, but like, what else can I do? You're also not going to die from this, so that's fantastic. Um... I mean, like, I, I don't think we want to ascend our units one more set. I think we're kind of just in this. So, what I like is... I like ascending you out of the way, because you'll die to an Inferno. And then I like Inferno. And you're still going to do a lot of damage to the Pyre, but only 33. We can survive that. I think we do like a, a cycle of life, just to maybe kill something. Oh my god, the next turn here is gonna suck. I mean, the next turn here might just kill our units. So we gotta, we gotta get some heals out, like, immediately. I don't know how we're gonna kill the 25 HP units that deal 75 damage. <laughs> we can ascend them and maybe try to burn them. That might work. I don't know, I could burn my whole floor. Honestly, our, some of our units will live. But not by enough. Not by enough. Hey, if I play this 47 times, I'll kill the boss. You're living. It's horrible. What about up here? Will that kill the pyre? No. I don't know why I would want that. I don't really. 
15 times 3, 15 times 3. So it's 45, 45. It's 90 damage. 90 plus 28. Well, it's 90 plus 42. So it's 132 damage. We can actually get over that. But the next floor is equally crappy. But I can't ascend an inferno and then save an extra 45 damage. So we can we can keep our, our champion alive. Just waiting on units. <laughs> waiting on units to show up. Okay, this being one energy would be so nice right now. Um I hate that the Gilded Wings are also gonna live. Cause like I'm thinking if I ascend a Gilded Wing and Inferno it. Well that doesn't really save me because I'm just gonna have to Inferno it next turn anyways and it's gonna make it through. So you might as well just like do it now, right? So you do 14, 204 damage. You will kill the Pyre if I let you go. Unfortunately, I have to do this to kill you anyways. This is not looking good. Extinguish, On Death, Vengeful Shard, Resolve, Add a Weight of Contrition. These are burning me too. Queen's Impling would do 20 damage. D not getting the Inferno earlier is just such a pain because this is just so good. We're taking so much damage because we can't kill anything down here. And our Imp can't can't do it because the Imp can only do 10 damage. So we've made a couple, we've made a couple of mistakes here that are probably going to cost us. That being said, we kind of have to start with some heals. Okay, you're living, what do we do? You have to survive the next turn as well, so I really do think that we just ascend one of these birds and then ice it up here, but we're, we're just not getting in front of the situation at all. We're just barely living on uh, turn over turn, and then this thing is gonna start doing 28 damage at the at um, in four turns. Can we survive that? I don't know. We still got to get some freaking units out. Two of our animuses. I mean, we drew three of them on turn two. Or was it, yeah, on turn two. We'd, we've just had the worst draw in this fight and we made mistakes in deck construction slightly. Both of those things together have kind of like cost us severely right now, but we're gonna try. The problem is I don't see us living because of the fact and maybe we're okay with our champion dying, actually. In which case, ah, but it doesn't matter. You get the same result doing it like this. Uh, like we we just take so much damage from the units making up, making the making it up. I mean, you're gonna do 42 damage. Sorry, 32 damage. Nothing else can hit the pyre, but this Gilded Wing is gonna live because I can't kill him. So we're just gonna try our best here. At least you're taking 96. I have six HP? That's actually less than I thought. So yeah, like how how can how can we survive this? You are going to hit the pyre and then immediately kill it. So it, it was it was fun while it lasted. There's our animus of will, by the way. <laughs> well, you know we could survive one more turn, but how will we survive the next turn of combat? It, it's not gonna happen. The enemies, they just do so much damage. They, they do too much damage. They do too much damage that we can't survive it. Although I am thinking, okay, what if you ascend the Animus? It does 300 damage. It'll survive barely. We have to kill the top floor. As a result, I think what we do is we abandon our tanks. Man, the Animus of Will is going to die too, but we'll ascend it next turn. So we aba we completely abandon our tanks, and we say, we have to move. And we have to not die from, you know, this garbage. But I think we, we get out of the way. Dude, we are not going to make it. Nine, it's going to be a 16 damage sweep in two turns, and we only do 300 damage in a turn. <sighs> We're not going to make it, but how you would do it is you would ascend your Animus. Inferno on this floor. Actually, the Hollow would live. He would live. 
And we might be able to ascend him on the next turn. <laughs> if only I had two of them on this turn. Okay, I mean, uh, we gotta try it, because it's the only thing that we can do. So if we ascend the Animus, the Animus will be able to kill these units with the Restoration Detonation, then we can Inferno, and then we can place an Animus of Will down, which will survive on this floor, I think, barely. 35? No, it'll actually die, so we probably don't even play it. We'll, we'll draw more Animuses. But I think we gotta do it, because any other option actually gets us killed, so... We, we just, ha we have to Inferno below our units. If we don't Inferno below our units, we're screwed anyways. So this, this makes us survive for at least one more turn. And actually we do have two Ascends. But these units are also dying. But I do have a big heal. So, but we won't be able to play Inferno if we do that. And then this guy's got 600 HP. <laughs> You're seeing the problem. We can't get in front of any of this. So it's like, ascend, animus, ascend. We're not even killing this guy and he's gonna kill the pyre. Well, you know what, actually, now you are dead, but we lose Inferno, but we live for another turn. And we, I have played this one quite poorly. <laughs> this is not what we should have done. And honestly, we have like infinite energy now, so we should just do this just to see what happens. Heal you, you're still dead. Heal you, you're still dead. Okay, so we're dead. Th there's a win in here somewhere. Like, I think I, I definitely made several mistakes with the deck construction. I took the wrong upgrades on things. I took units I didn't need to take and I shouldn't have taken, but we got close. We should have also played on the top floor of that combat. It would have been so much better. Playing on the middle, I think, killed us because we got Inferno on the turn one too late. We had to play it on the top floor, and instead of um, of weakening the units that were making it up, we were tanking all of that damage from the, the units that had like triple multi-strike, and so that kind of got us killed there. But also, like I can't believe how often we just got two or three Animuses of Will in the same draw. It's, it's stupid. <laughs> We should never have made Hidden Passage Intrinsic. We should never have added things like Edge Prior. And we should have doubled and melded the uh, Molting Imp. We would have had two ways to kill floors instead of just one, relying entirely on Inferno. Honestly, I thought the 10 damage might be enough, but no, the units all have 25 HP at this point, so you have to have some other way of doing it. A, a melded Imp would have dealt 40 damage, and it would have been enough to kill everything. That would have been enough, I think, just to, just to murder everything on the way up. So we made several mistakes, and I, th I think there's definitely a win in here somewhere. But lessons learned. You know, I'm, I'm still learning, and I'm, I'm still re-remembering the things that I, I used to remember about, um, about the last divinity and everything, and about the pack shards, and, you know, I, I think I'm getting better at planning my route, at least but we really, really, really have to have a way of killing support units. The support units that do 50 damage per turn and that have 25 health, they're so hard to kill. And I I needed a backup option. Instead of Inferno, Molting Imp would have worked. We should have duplicated it. We should have, we should have do duplicated it. And the animuses were too big. <laughs> Anyways, hey, for those of you on YouTube, well, for everyone on YouTube, Hey, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me at the various links in the video description below. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monster Train.